Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fight Focus. And for today's video, we will be covering horrifying strikes in MMA fights that shatter jaws. Some fighters break legs, some break arms, but in a sport where punches and kicks are able to be thrown at someone's face, don't be surprised when you see some broken jaws as well. Though it is highly rare to see someone's jaw break from a strike during a fight, it says a lot about the fighter that is able to push on, but also about the fighter who had the power to cause it. Obviously, it is not the craziest injury ever seen, but the severity of a broken jaw is no doubt insanely painful. Regardless, you can't deny that these fighters are straight warriors for enduring this sort of punishment during a bout and still having the mentality to block the pain and push through. For this video, we've comprised a list of MMA fighters who had their jaw broken during the fight and were able to push on, but there were also some fighters that weren't able to. Nevertheless, pushing on or not, these fighters have laid their health down on the line to do what they love while entertaining us at the same time. So without further ado, this is horrifying strikes in MMA fights that shatter jaws. Number 10, John McDessey. It didn't take long for Cerrone to test McDessey's chin as he blasted away at the Canadian with a barrage of heavy punches before opening up with several high kicks to the head. As well, oftentimes, delayed kick and the ADL for us right now. Yeah. Yeah. He went high, he went high. With less than 30 seconds to go in the round, Cerrone fired another head kick that cracked McDessey and while he didn't fall over, he quickly retreated and made a motion for a timeout. Obviously, there are no timeouts, and the referee realized that McDessey was hurt and he called a stop to the contest. Based upon the replay of McDessey's reaction, it appeared that Cerrone broke his jaw with the final kick that put a stop to the fight. Number 9, Kim Couture. Couture, the former wife of UFC Hall of Fame Randy Couture, took a beating from Rose in her MMA debut. Well, the pitbull coming out fast. Oh, huge shot. Drops Kim in the pitbull is going to work. Despite breaking her jaw into two places early in the first round, Sugar Free carried on for the duration of the fight, losing by unanimous decision. The brutal nature of the bout led many MMA pundits and fans alike to ask the question why the Naturals refused to throw in the towel at any point during the scrap. In order to set the record straight, Couture told Sherdog.com in 2008 that she chalked up the broken jaw to Rose's refusal to touch gloves. Number 8. Liam McGeary Liam McGeary was prepared to take on Phil Davis at Bellator 220. What he was not prepared for, however, was a broken jaw. Well, in his mind, if he's like, I feel like I'm controlling everything in the stand-up game. Plays, he's fighting better than he has. He's got great confidence. He got hit with a big left hand. That's exactly what he got in the third round of his fight against Phil Davis when the punches were enough to break his jaw and the referee had to stop the fight. McGeary's jaw was in bad shape and saw him have to make a trip to the doctor following the fight. He also talked about what happened on the night itself, sending a message to Phil Davis as well. He said that his jaw cracked in the second round and it was his tooth that went in the third round. Number 7. Rafael Dos Anjos while it can be said about most MMA fighters that they are made of steel because of how strong and hardy they are, but in the case of Rafael Dos Anjos, it is somewhat true. During his 2010 bout against Clay Guida, Rafael Dos Anjos broke his jaw in the very first minute of their fight. Hey, you know what? That's uh, Mike Winklejohn being under the watchful eye of him and Greg Jackson getting my hands together. I want to get. He survived for three more rounds in the fight, but the injury he sustained eventually led to his defeat. In the third round, Rafael Dos Anjos was forced to tap out and submit to Clay Guida as the latter pressed the forearm against his already broken jaw. Number 6, Eddie Wineland. It's easy to understand why Eddie Wineland would consider retiring from mixed martial arts. Wineland suffered the devastating injury in a knockout loss to Johnny Eduardo in Cincinnati back in 2014. Man, right on the jaw. I don't care who you are, and in whatever weight class, that's going to take you out. But this wouldn't be the first jaw break, Wyland first broke his jaw at Extreme Cage Combat back in 2004. Number 5 Frank Mir The 39 year old fighter at the time faced Yavi Ayala at Bellator 212 in Hawaii over that weekend which ended via second round submission. That caused Frank a problem, you see him knocking the mouthpiece out, Frank can't see and eventually he just taps out due to the strikes, due to the damage that Javi Ayala had created. It was a painful night for Mir in many ways, as he was forced to tap out due to strikes for the first time in his lengthy career. 
Mir was already fighting without a mouthpiece during the final minute of the second round when Ayala continued to blast him with hard punches. Really for what's occurring. 40 seconds on the clock and he get some of it attended to if he makes it that far. Oh, he just tapped tapped. Tapped. He just tapped That's out. it. Frank Mir Number 4, Oka Sasaki. Japan's Oka Sasaki was defeated in the first round by his compatriot Kai Asakura. That's a jab there, but Asakura's hand is so fast. Look at that right hand there, boom, dropped him already. He's already bleeding. Telling him to get up. The fight was stopped due to a medical decision because of Sasaki's broken jaw. A judicious choice in view of the MRI of Sasaki's jaw, which could be seen a few hours after the fight. The photo reminds us of the many risks of combat sports as well as the courage and of the athletes who enter the ring. Oka Sasaki was successfully operated and was enjoying a well-deserved rest before thinking about what was to come next before returning to action. Number 3, Aaron Riley. At UFC 135, Aaron Riley was the more creative and dynamic striker mixing his kicks with punching combinations. He established solid head movement and avoided many of Ferguson's punches early on. Riley stayed in the fight, but he was showing the effects of the punching power that Tony Ferguson possesses. He survived the round, but in the minute break, he immediately told his corner that he suffered a broken jaw. Ferguson looked really impressive with his punching power and aggressiveness in his strikes. He's the most impressive The Ultimate Fighter winner in recent memory and picked up a win over an established veteran. For Aaron Riley, he's had jaw issues since having his jaw broken by Spencer Fisher before this fight. Number 2, Stefan Struve. After a two-punch combo flattened him in the third round, Stefan Struve hoped referee Herb Dean would simply help him pull a tooth out of his cheek and let the fight continue. Unfortunately for Struve though, his ailment was much more serious. A little bit wobbly here! After a back and forth fight through the first 10 minutes, an exhausted Mark Hunt lunged forward with his signature power punches and eventually landed a huge left hook that sent the 7 foot Struve crashing to the mat. Struve laid prone on the mat almost looking like he was waiting for Hunt to jump down and attack, but in reality he was in serious pain suffering from a broken jaw. Number 1 Colby Covington Quite a shocker right? The California native suffered the gruesome injury during the early stages of UFC 245 main event defeat to Kamara Usman. After the third round, Covington told his coaches he believed he had suffered significant damage to his jaw, with the UFC later confirming via a medical report that he had a non-displaced midline mandible fracture. In what was the thrilling back and forth between two of the best welterweight fighters in the division, Kamara Usman got his hand raised after a brutal knockout that sent Colby Covington struggling off his feet. It was a performance where somehow Covington managed to win the hearts of many MMA fans and pundits. After an impressive performance against the current welterweight champion Kamara Usman at UFC 245, and he fought to push on with a broken jaw. That right there concludes this list. Let us know what we did in the comments below. Alright MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make sure to hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to comment below what video you want to see next.